You are watching TFI. So for a long time now, Invent has been able to use HDRI images as the background in the modding environment. If you go to the View tab, the Appearance panel, most, if not all, of these scenes use an HDRI image. If you select something like Stuttgart Courtyard, you'll see it brings in a HDRI image, it uses that as the background, and that doubles up as a, a light source for lighting the model and also for the reflections on the textures. If you zoom out, you'll see it's just an HDRI image wrapped around a cylinder or a dome replicated up as an environment. And for the most part, they're all great. Some of them are absolutely terrible and tragic and should be deleted from the software, the likes of the Alps. But um, for the most part, they're good. But since we've been able to use these HDRIs, the question's been raised, well, can I not make my own? Can I not bring in my own HDRIs? The answer is no, you can't. It's just not a priority because it's just purely cosmetic. But um, you can do it using this unofficial, unsupported workflow, which if it goes wrong, you'll get no help with at all. But it's, it's fine. It's absolutely harmless doing this. It's all reversible and it, it won't do you any damage at all. And that comes with a disclaimer and no warranty, by the way, but it's fine. If you follow exactly what I'm doing, you should be fine. Everything that I'm going to do is linked in the description. All the text that I use, all the files that I use is all linked in the description, including a hyperlink to download this engine model if you want to go for that. And then let's just do it, mate. Right, so we're going to shut Inventor down. First thing we're going to do is hop on over to Windows Explorer and then you want to browse to this folder here. See, users, public, documents, Autodesk, Inventor, the version that you're using. And this should work going all the way back to versions which you shouldn't be using, so you'll be fine. Uh, and then you want to double click in at the environments folder and we'll just leave that there. We're going to then hop over to your web browser, so that'd be Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever it is you use. And we're going to go to HTTPS HDRIHaven.com. This website is incredible. It is a phenomenal source of rich, exquisite quality HDRIs. Uh, and the guy, what's even better, gives you these HDRIs for free and without any royalties whatsoever. It's a CC0 license, which means you can use his HDRIs completely free of charge for commercial purposes as well. And I find that so useful for what I do that I'm a Patreon supporter of this guy because it's it's just incredible. And obviously, just out of pure courtesy, I suggest that you know you consider that if you do use these on a regular basis as well. So I'm going to go to the HDRI link at the top. Uh, we're going to go to the outdoor category, and then we're going to search these by downloads. And you want to find an HDR. You can use any of these, by the way, but you want to find one that's bright, doesn't have a, a grassy or a rocky ground, and nothing like a bridge or anything like that that you've got to try and weave your model around somehow. So I'm going to scroll down, and for this example, I'm going to use an HDRI called Shadow Plats. So we're going to click that thumbnail, and then the first thing we need to do, right, we need to create a thumbnail ourselves for Inventor to use. So on Windows 10, we're going to select on the on the keyboard the Windows key Shift and S, and that loads of snip and snatch and snag and sketch or whatever the hell it's called and you know drag a window it doesn't matter how big or what size just enough so you you know what it is about that big uh, if you don't have windows 10 you can use snag it or any, i don't know any just google screen capture software and you can find something that'll capture the screen uh, and then we're going to save that on the desktop as it has to be a png by the way it has to be saved out as a png and then we're going to save this out as thumbnail.png. If your software doesn't let you save out as a PNG, do it as a JPEG and then use Paint to save it as a PNG. And then save that out. Right, that's it. Scroll down a bit. And then here's the download section where you can actually get the HDRIs. As tempting as it is to get a 16K HDRI for utter max crispness, Inventor will crash if you try and use a 16K HDRI. You just can't handle that much data. So we're going to go for the 8K version. And that will download pretty quickly depending on what your internet connection is. I don't know. can't do anything about that for you, mate. All right. We're going to drag that onto the desktop as well. And then I'm just going to quickly rename this to uh, get rid of the 8K because it's not really very relevant. And I'm just going to capitalize that. And then I'm going to... God, this bit's quite important, actually, because it's such a long word. And it's weird to spell. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. <laughs> so I can reuse shadow plats uh, in a, in a text file a bit later on. Anyway, right. So once that's done, we're gonna. I think we're done with HDRI Haven now. So we can minimize that or close it down. Back over to Windows Explorer. In the Environments folder, you want to create a new folder, and then we're going to paste in shadow plats. You can call it whatever you want, though. If you've downloaded Grassy Field, you can call the folder Grassy Field. But you need to remember what you've called the folder. Double click into that. Grab the two files and move them into this folder. Next thing is to right click in the folder and create a new text document. 
call that shadowplats.xml. And then, yes, I want to change that. You want to then edit this XML with either Notepad++. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's a free text editor. Uh, or you can use regular Notepad. It doesn't matter. But we're going to edit that file. Next thing is I'm going to put in the description of the video a, sec a selection of text that you're going to need to paste into this XML file. And it looks like this here. So it starts with environments version two, and then it's got environment ID, custom, origin offset, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, you want to take up the, all of that text, and then you want to copy and paste that into this XML file. And then you want to replace the word custom with shadow plats. So we need to go over to uh, Windows Explorer, and I need to grab the word shadow plats again, copy that to the clipboard, come over to Notepad++, and we want to do a find and replace uh, replace what the word custom with shadow plots. You could do this manually. I'm just doing this quick, right? And the rest of it, we can just leave it as it is. So we can save that, and then I can close this down. And I think we're good with this for now. I believe. Right? There's just quite a few steps. I'm just thinking out loud. Right? We are good. So we're going to go back to the Inventor 2020 folder. You're then going to go to the Design Data folder, and we're going to right click on lighting.xml and then edit that with notepad or notepad plus plus what you then want to do is go into the description of this video again and there should be another selection of text that starts with style ambient light equals 0.25 yada 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 you want to copy all of that to the clipboard you want to come into lighting.xml go to the very bottom of it and underneath the last style link thing here whatever this the header press return twice underneath that and then paste it in all right you then want to go back into your winners explorer i told you this was fiddly all right we're going to go back into the exam uh, the environments folder and we're going to copy shadow plats if, if i remembered how to spell shadow plats i'd uh, i wouldn't need to do this bit but we're going to copy that the clipboard and we're just going to scan through the line and then we're going to find the word custom right there it is there IBL source ID, change that to shadow plats. Internal name, change that to shadow plats. And I th think, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put it into 1033 as well. And uh, I'm going to leave a fact. Do you know what? Because I know I'm using an English operating system. I can get rid of all of these lines except 1033. But you, you'll have to change your, op your language line, whatever your language is. Right, the rest of these options here can be changed afterwards, like say, for example, uh, the brightness of the uh, of the background, the IBL brightness, this is how bright the actual background is, but we can change that later on. In fact, you know what, we're gonna change it now. We'll change the brightness to 1.5, because uh, I know it's uh, it does help to be quite bright. Uh, we're gonna change the exposure value, we're gonna change that to zero from minus 0 0.36 save the lighting file mate and that's it he says not very confidently because the amount of times i've tried to do this and i forgot to do something's unreal right once once you've saved that shut down all your xml's that you've got open and then launch inventor and if it's worked see if it's worked the shadow plats folder should make its way through into inventors view panel on the appearance tab and you should be able to use that now as an image based lighting hdri background so we're going to open up the jet engine. Let's see if it's there. We're going to go to the view panel once it's opened up. And then hopefully, please, for the love of God, we should see shadow plots. There it is. Give that a click. It'll say loading a IBL environment. And then what you're going to have to do is go to settings, tick display scene image, change the camera to perspective, mate. And then there you go. There's shadow plots in the background of your model. If you want the, Im well, I'm, I suppose you do. If you, if you do want the image to always appear, uh, by default if you go back into your xml uh, there's a there's a, a toggle here called display scene image if you change that to one it'll always show the scene image rather than you having to turn it on right so with that being done you can then turn the shadows on you can change that to realistic you can do whatever you need to do and that that's it that's it mate you hit ray tracing and off you trot you will you will notice though that this is behaving a little bit differently to Stuttgart Courtyard, for example. Like if you, if you zoom out, you'll see that the environment is what's called a skybox. It's not wrapped around a dome object, so it's behaving a little bit differently. But I actually prefer it this way. I prefer to not have an actual physical floor in a physical environment. 
Uh, it's, it just, I, I don't know, there's just something about it which is a little bit better, but that's it, mate. That's how you create your own environment. And finally, if you're planning on using your own HDRI or image-based lighting in Inventor Studio, which I guess most people probably would want to, uh, if you go into Studio Lighting Styles and then expand the Global Lighting Styles, you'll notice that Shadow Plus is not there. You have to go through an extra step for whatever reason to <laughs> enable that in Inventor Studio. So you've got to shut down Inventor, go back over to the uh, Public Documents Autodesk Inventor folder, go into Design Data, and then you want to scroll down to Studio Lighting XML. Right click on that, edit with Notepad. Right, we want to grab any one of these. We'll just go to Dry Salt Bed, for example. Right, we'll copy all of that from Style to Style. Control C, scroll down to the bottom, go underneath the last Style header, Return, Return, Control V, and then replace all instances of dry salt bed with uh, shadow plats that I'm gonna to have to copy and paste again because uh, spelling is difficult at half past two in the morning. Uh, control C, dry salt bed, all right, replace that, control V, just have a quick scan through for anything else that might reference that name. No, we're all good, 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 good. Uh, 1033 is the one that I want, so I'm just gonna paste that there again you can read through these and you can see right oh well, i'm using russian or chinese so you can change 2052 if you want but i'm not using any of those so i can delete them all uh, get shot of all of those uh, dry salt bed control v to shadow plats and i think that's good mate right we're going to save that close it down open up inventor and i'll uh, resume this once studios back open Right, indeed, we're back in Inventor Studio. Go to Studio Lighting Styles, and then when you expand your global lighting styles, you should see Shadow Plats is there, which if you right-click on that, make that active, and then you click this option here for Display Scene Image, you should have your Shadow Plats scene in there for Inventor Studio. Uh, well, and one final thing again. Right, I'm just gonna finish Inventor Studio. I forgot to mention this, but there's a bit of a bug slash glitch with this, which, like I said, it's not supported, so it's never gonna get fixed, really. Uh, but if you enable shadow plots or whatever image you've brought in uh, and then you enable ray tracing, I have to turn on realistic to do that. For whatever reason, when you enable ray tracing, the HDRI rotates 180 degrees like this. You can see it's rotated. Uh, I don't know why. I don't. It doesn't matter. It's just aesthetic. You know, if you know it's going to rotate 180 degrees, well, you can go into... Uh, you can go into the scene settings and then you can rotate this by 180 degrees save and close that and then when you do ray tracing it's actually going to bring the right one in but that's that's just a thing to be aware of just to save you going mental for about an hour like i did trying to figure out what's happening so that's how you do it mate that's how you bring in your own image based lighting into inventor and with hdri haven you can go absolutely nuts with as many scenes as you want it's an incredible website and i support the guy on patreon highly suggest that you consider doing that yourself if this is something you plan on using in your production work because it's expensive to make these kind of images and um, I'd like them to keep doing it. So there you go, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, if you like the channel, uh, consider supporting me on Patreon as well. That's, that would be that would be nice. Uh, thank you to everyone who signed up since the Inventor 2020 Watts new video. Welcome along. And uh, thanks to everyone who's been super supportive of the videos since the 2020 launch and the interview with uh, Hoops and Coops. That's been a raging success. So thank you again. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodle.